Welcome. And in this section of our open cloud walkthrough, what we're going to discuss is the construct called domains. Now domains is an interesting construct that allows us to compartmentalize an organization and give them the proper details and limits that are associated with that particular domain. Now, in this particular case, you can see that I have a domain here named Demo23, and it's currently active, so that means I can associate resources to it. It's got an ID so that everything can be associated with a particular ID, and you can see that I'm currently using two CPUs and roughly 12 gig of memory. Now, what I'm allowed to do is take a look at some of the details that tell me what the path is to that particular domain and what the parent domain is. That's very important if you're compartmentalizing your organization and you want to start with a root domain and want to work your way down into subdomains for individual portions of the business. Now, limits. Limits are what's a, any sort of hard limits that's available. This may be associated with your particular contract and may dictate exactly how much resources you're allowed to use in the open cloud environment. So you can see, I currently have a bunch of unlimited available, but in some particular cases, you may have limits all the way down to say something to the effect of say 20 instances total. You would only see in this case, two used, limit of 20. Events. This shows different events for the particular domain, whether I created an account, whether I deleted an account, things like that, that constitute different events that are domain specific. In comments, I can add a comment that uh, allows me to basically just give a good basis for some sort of comment for that particular device. Now, what do we need to do to add a domain. So you can see here, I've got the ability to update the resource count should I want to do that. But in my case, I'm gonna add a domain. So in this case, we're going to create a domain called new domain. The network in the domain itself do not need to be, they'll be auto-created. So if I click on okay, you can see that I've created a new domain and I'm allowed to configure limits. So you can see minus one dictates that you've got unlimited resources. Now that may not be the case, again, based off of contracts, um, limits that are gonna be associated with the overall environment, things like that. So in this case, what I'm allowed to do then is once I've created the domain, now I can delete the domain. I'm going to clean up after it, which means it's going to, if there were any resources that were provisioned, it's going to clean up after that particular device. And it's going to delete the domain in question. So now you can see we're back to the root again of demo 23. Now, with this walkthrough, this associates what you can and can't do with domains inside of OpenCloud. If you have any more questions related to this, please feel free to contact the Technical Support Center and they'll be able to walk you through even more information around these particular devices. Thank you.